When you think about the identification or the identity of a product, and really think of an identifier as the number that's on a product that just helps you know what it is, right, is different from any other product, a can of soda versus a bag of potato chips. The identity is actually all of the attributes associated with that identifier. And in a world where we don't think much about drinking that can of soda and throwing it away, and we assume when we put it in the recycle bin that it's gonna get recycled, there is actually a ton of work that goes into the whole process of breaking down products, of disposing of packaging materials, and of creating what we like to talk about at GS1 US as a circular economy. A circular economy is a world in which after items have lived their useful life in a consumer's environment, we can reuse, reduce, and recycle as much of what's left of that product as possible. So for food products, it's always about the packaging. And you know, paper versus aluminum versus plastic, we don't think about that. But most of you probably know the sortation process is a nightmare. So we've been looking at the concept of persistent identity. How does that unique identifier that's currently embedded in the barcode on packaging actually become machine readable buy things like sortation devices at a recycling facility. When you buy a piece of apparel, what's the first thing you do? You cut the tag off. The tag is where the identity of that product sits. And so we're looking into technologies now that will actually be integrated into the fabrics or the label of a product that will allow the identity of that product to carry all the way through. What about a world where you could be done with a product, take it back to a retailer and drop it in a recycling bin and maybe get a coupon towards your next purchase? The benefit to that retailer is that they can drive their sustainability goals by taking that product and putting it into a recycling process. But the first thing a recycling process needs to know is what is this product made of? Is it cotton? Is it spandex? Is it polyester? When we're able to have identity persist beyond the point of purchase or beyond the point of consumption, we're actually going to enable several things. We're going to enable a more sustainable world because we will be able to deliver on the recycling aspirations that we have as a community today. We'll be able to support new business models. There will be whole cottage industries around recycling and people that will build the facilities that will be able to take in this, all these products, read the information about them, and then properly sort, recycle, and design them for the appropriate reuse or disposal um, that would be best for that product. But we're actually also then going to create that circular economy that says I can reduce something almost back down, right? Reverse engineer it from the way it was manufactured to the way it's disposed. This is all about that persistent identity that ties to a cloud of quality data about that product. We're actually gonna to start to see some amazing inroads being made on our progress towards having a circular and sustainable environment and economy. Mm -hmm.